All right, my friends, today we have a Reddit tip that's talking to things that go on in the background in Reddit. And I'm sure you've got a place on your server where your central files are if you've turned on work sharing and your local files are located somewhere and plain old user files are located somewhere on your server. And that's where we're going today. We're going to talk about where those are and how they build up and and they're going to be robbing your server of valuable space and how to clean that out so wait a second if you have a bim manager as part of your as part of your company then hopefully that person is cleaning out those old residual files as you as you go along so that they don't build up and just rob and take up the whole server but if you don't have a BIM manager, right here, I could be your BIM manager. Eh? Shameless entertainment. Go to um, virtualbimmanagement.com and take a look at the options. Huh? Think about it. Anyway, if you don't have a BIM manager, then you have to deal with those file buildups that are on your server and you need to keep cleaning them out wherever they are. And so I'm going to talk to you right now about how to deal with that. Okay. Look at that, working myself out of a job. But hey, I do way more than cleaning out your server. Okay, here we go. So let me just push my face off to the side here. And <clears throat> there we go, virtual bin management. Let me show you what's going on. This is our project that we're working on. Let's just say I started a new project on my server and la la la, I'm working along. And I'm like, wait a minute, I need to save this somewhere on my server. Your company needs to have a place, a central place where they save their files or where you save your files on your server, not on your personal computer because heaven forbid you drop that computer. If it's a laptop, you drop it into a puddle and it's gone. Everything's gone. Or your computer gets um, hit by lightning and all of your files are gone. Ah, everything's gone. You should have your files on a server somewhere. So, so here's Here's my documents folder, and I'm going to say new folder, and here we go, mm -hmm, all my projects. There we go. This is going to be my folder for all my projects for my firm, okay? Just, I don't know where or what you call your projects, but that's what mine's going to be for now, okay? So I'm sitting here working on this project, and I've got it to a point, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to save this thing. So I hit save, okay? This is not a work sharing file, it's just a normal file. So I'm gonna to go to my computer, my documents, there it is, all my projects. I'm gonna call this architect's office. How do you spell architect? Architect's office. Okay, save. Okay, so now I've saved. Shoo, I've saved it somewhere on the server and it's safe. Now, watch this. As I progress, since I'm the only one that can work on this because it's not a work sharing file, it's not a central file or a local file. This, this is just a user file, is what they call it. So if I progress working and say, I delete something, okay, I'm gonna delete the roof, or I'm gonna get rid of this ceiling, blah, 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 and I hit save, because I don't wanna lose my work. Okay, we'll take it another step, la, 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 I'm working, we don't need that. Maybe I wanna edit the stair a little bit, and I hit save again. So. I am working in this project. I may go, I don't know, get rid of this. I'm just, I'm deleting things to make it simple on us all. Okay, there's a wall. Oh dear, deleted a wall, lost a whole bunch of stuff, but oh well, there's a stair. Oh, oh dear, stair's gone, whatever, save. And so I'm working and progressing this project, okay? And I'm hitting save each time. Now let me show you what is going on in the background for all you guys. Woo, for all good guys and gals, there's women that are in architecture too. Okay, while I'm working on this, let me just show you. I'm gonna go into all my projects. Now look at this. Oh no, what are all these files? Okay, these numerical iterations are the backups. Every time I hit save, it saves a copy, a full-blown copy. If you look right here, you'll see that it is a full, the size is full size copy. It, when your files get up to half a gig, 500 megs or more or so, every time you hit save, it is going to make a full copy of itself. 
and this is your point to come in here and clean out as many of these as you don't need. Okay. I wouldn't get rid of all of them because this is your backup if something should go wrong with your main file. But let's just say today I don't need them. I'm going to get rid of all these ding, ding, ding and hit delete. It's okay to get rid of those iterative um, files because every time you hit save, it makes a new one. And this one that doesn't have numbers in it is your file moving forward. Okay. So periodically behind the scenes, you need to, if you don't have a BIM manager doing this for you, you need to go into your projects directory and periodically clear out all of those extra files. Those are the iterative files from your projects and also from your families. If you're editing families, it's going to do the same thing. So wherever your families are stored, you, every time you edit them, it saves an iterative backup of itself. Go clear those out. All right, back to Revit. Now let's say I've got the, I need, I need someone else to work on this project. I can't just leave this as a single user file. I need help on this. So I'm going to make it into a central file and then I'm going to show you how things are different after that. Okay. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to go to collaborate and I'm going to sit, click on work sets. I'm going to go through this fast. This is not about making it into a central file. I'm going to hit okay. So this, um, is turning it into a central file right now. Okay. So I've gotten to the point where I need more people to help me on the project. I've saved it. I've turned it into a, or it's in the process right now of turning it into a central file. That's so that multiple people can all link in and get a local file and work on it. We'll go into that in detail in another video, but I'm just showing you how this works. So I'm going to say, okay, because it finished, it turned it into a central file. Now what I need to do is I'm going to have to save it. Okay. It reminds me that this is the first time it's ever been saved as a central file. And so I hit, okay, whatever. And then I'm just backing up. Okay. La 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 waiting for it. Okay. Now I'm going to relinquish all of mine off of it and synchronize. I'll go into those in detail on a different video. So here we are, we just converted this into a central file done. I can close it. Watch this file close. Okay. The file is closed. You do not want to continue working in the central file. That's bad mojo. Don't you do it. Here's what you do. I just want to show you what happened. Let's go look at the directory structure. Aha. It's different now. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's different. Okay. The architect's office, it didn't change to have the word, hi, I'm a central file. So you just got to know this kind of stuff. In fact, you would probably want to rename this thing to have this, maybe I'm a central file in the file name, whatever. But you know, it is a central file by looking at this backup directory. Every time I save now, it is going to just put the changes into that backup directory and it's cryptic. I'm telling you, the files in here are data files. Look, that, 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 that. Okay. So it's not a full blown backup of itself. It's just the changes. So when I go into the project and make a change, it only saves the change. Okay. You with me with that? So this is okay. And this is how it works. It's not going to keep on building more and more, but here we go it's going to just put the changes into that backup directory. Now, what I want to show you guys next is getting a local file off of it and working. Now, where is that going to go? Ah, okay. If I say open and I'd like to go open and work on this in a local copy, I want to show you guys when I say architects office, I highlight, just highlight the central file. And I look down here and it says, create a new local shoo it's going to create a new local but where where is it going to create a new local i'll show you in a second watch this i'm going to hit open okay wait for it i'm going to hit open and it creates a local copy so i'm not in central i am in a local copy that i'm working on and <clears throat> Wait for it. It's opening the local copy and it's got an umbilical connection, a tether back to the central file. So, um, so here we go. I'm in my local fi file and here is, is my little file that I was working on. Okay. Beautiful little file. And I 
um, if I make changes here, let's say I want to get rid of this window or create, make a new window here, and boy, this looks like a good place for another window over here. Mm -hmm, love it, love it. When I hit, I've got save and synchronize, right? If I hit save, that saves me a local file. Ah, but where? I thought you were going to show us, Mike. Gosh, I will. Hang in there. When I hit save, it saves a local. That is my backup that is on my computer somewhere or wherever I've told it to be so that it can have a local copy. But when I hit synchronize, that's, and I hit OK, that's when it pushes all of my changes into the central file so the rest of the team can see what I've been working on, where I've placed all these great windows or what I've deleted and moved, OK? Synchronize updates the central file. Saving just saves my local. Now, let's go look and see where it is. If you click on File and you click on Options right here, then it will bring up this and you need to click on now File Locations. Your local files, this top line is where your local files are going to go automatically whenever you save local, okay? So here it is. Mine is under Mike Taylor, my documents folder in a folder called Revit Locals. Now that's what I've done. I, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit okay, whatever. Um, I just want to, now let me go back there. Let's go, I'm gonna close this down. I'm gonna open up. Now this here, oh, by the way, every time you hit save, um, it puts, this is the central file, remember? All my projects, central file. It is put, it puts the changes in the backup directory. It also makes this little directory called Revit temp. Leave that alone. It's kind of the facilitator between the file and the backup. It, it takes care of it. Okay, so I suggest all of you make a directory. I put it under documents and I made a directory called local Revit locals. So this is where my local copy goes of my architect's office. And I put, I make my central file, it's on the server somewhere under projects, but my local goes into a directory that is called Revit Locals. I just made that directory and I pointed Revit to it on that top line number of file locations. Anyway, this is where you need to come and clean things up periodically. If, if you, um, go on to work on other projects and you're done working on locals and your project is done and the central file is all synchronized and you can clean these locals out of here. You don't need them anymore. You can get this backup directory, which is changes, just like the central file, and you can get out this local copy. If I deleted them right now, I would need to go get a new local. In fact, that's what I suggest that you do each day. You just go get a new local file of, of your um, off of your central each morning. But periodically, you need to come in here wherever you've got your locals saved and clean them up. And the last thing I'll tell you before I go is this. In my humble opinion, you should direct all of your firm's locals into the same directory, even on the server. On your server, somewhere near your projects folder, but separate, you should make a folder called Revit Locals. And all the people in your firm or in your company, all of their locals should be posting into that directory. That way, there's a one place shop you can go to clean out the old locals and clean up your server. Otherwise, it's just those are big files, and over time, it starts weighing down your server. So, I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, um, post them in the comments below, and I'll get to them. But that's how I would deal with central files, and local files, and user files. I hope that helps. You guys have a great day, and happy reveting. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.